our coverage right now of UConn. Of course, the team is making their way back to stores right now, but the celebrations got a little chaotic last night after the team won in Houston. Now the cleanup begins. Eyewitness News reporter Luke Hydash live in stores with a look at that mess left behind. Luke. Stephanie, Mark, we got a lot of people here outside Gamble waiting to get inside for when the men come back. And the maintenance crews here on campus have really had a busy day making sure everything is back in order for when all of these visitors come here to campus. We've got some of those lamp posts behind me here. Those just went back up in the last half hour, 45 minutes or so. Crews here were repairing broken glass. They were scrubbing graffiti. And the big one, getting all of those lamp posts back upright and working. We've got some new information about the arrests that just came into our newsroom. We've got 15 people who were arrested. We did get a list of those people and their names, their pictures, and their official charges. That was just about a half hour or so, mostly criminal mischief charges, some disorderly conduct as well. Now, you're seeing some video now of the sheer amount of people, a mob that was outside of Gample last night. That sent 16 people to the hospital, no major injuries. We spoke with lots of students who were here in that crowd, just about the entire student body, really, and they say they knew what they were getting into. I had seen a YouTube video from 2014 when they won, but besides that, I wasn't really sure what to expect. But everyone was just amped up and ran out in the streets, and it was a pretty crazy atmosphere. There is the Yukon fire truck with that American flag waiting for that procession to come back here to Gamble. That is what everybody is waiting for, to see that team back here in stores. But when it comes to that vandalism coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 5, just about a half hour now from now, hear more from those students and why they're not really surprised things ended this way, as well as some new video they shot. We're live at Yukon stores. Luke Hydash, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.